Hello, this is Laura Bofill with Eclipse Magazine. I am here with the cast and crew of Rogue Warrior Robot Fighter. I had the wonderful opportunity to get the inside scoop on the film when it first premiered at the Action on Film International Film Festival. I am William Kircher. I'm from The Hobbit. Uh, nice to see you, Laura. Hey, Thanks nice for meeting you. We're at the after party for the Action on Film Festival for Rogue Warrior Robot Fighter. We were attacked. It's one of those old half-wit BT-14s. Someone attached one of your prototypes. Yeah. Neil Johnson did an amazing job. Mm -hmm. And Tracy Birdsall is beautiful and talented. Told, told him what? What we did to his daughter. It was obscene. So you started off the film. I did, on the <laughs> opening scene. How did you get involved with it? It's just one of those things that once I was offered, I just couldn't deny it. I had a lot of really good actors next to me. A uh, really good director. Now another star in the movie is your your dog. Yeah, Ooh, your dog, yeah right. my dog Moose. I've had him since he was seven weeks old. Oh my gosh, yeah. wow. I have a shout out to everyone that wants to be shouted out. That's how I like to say <laughs> it, you know? I'd clean up real well if you wanted to take your pleasure from me. I'd like that. Or do you like a dirty girl? I love your character. She was so adorable. <laughs> you can see how Rihanna kind of adds that spice. There's a lot of chemistry between you and the other cast members. How was it working with everyone else? So great. This cast and this crew, just incredible. So do you have any shout out for our fans? Please watch Rogue Warrior Robot Fighter. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it. I'm a pleasure bot. Watch where you're going, traffic picks. I just finished watching the screening of your film. It is incredible. Thank you. Blister? Yes. He's uh, he's sort of the, the sidekick to Sienna, our mutual father figure, kind of sends me along to look after her and, and try and stop her from getting into trouble. Doing sci-fi is a trip because you're using your imagination visiting other worlds, uh, but it's the closest place that, that actually felt like a different world, so it uh, adds to Neil and Tracy's genius. Thank you so much for talking with Eclipse Magazine. Of course, I love you guys. It's like a big off switch. We can't go running all over the galaxy looking for some mythical fix-all. Oh well, hello folks, how are you? It's good to see you and please support the film. So we just finished screening your film. It was amazing. Yes, amazing. it was. Quite a spectacle. It's oh, visually uh, incredible. Now tell us more about your character that you... Oh, Dr. Ralston. Yes, mm -hmm. well, he's quite a scientist. He's also the leader of a resistance movement. Was the voice of Hoagland. I'm hearing it. To Sienna. It's the scourge. <laughs> Great fun. I mean, the rest of the cast all had horrible, like, difficult shoots in the Sultan Sea, and I just got to go to Malibu for an afternoon and record his dialogue. When did you finally get to meet the other characters who played the humans? <laughs> so, apart from Tracy and Neil, tonight was the first time I met all the rest oh. of the cast. Yeah. yeah, watch the movie. When it comes out, it's a great movie. Go and watch it. Hi, out there, viewers, and, um, yeah. Keep watching and listening. But it was, a, it was a pleasure to work with Neil. I've known Neil for many years. Um, we were, uh, grew up on the Gold Coast together in Queensland, Australia. And Neil gave us an amazing palette to work with in terms of pictures, and he had some other sounds there already to start with. And... And I threw in a few more. And uh, it's just, it just a matter of following the story and then, and then helping the sound to just support the story and, and uh, the rest takes care of itself. Hello again. Hello. We've talked with you before in Eclipse Magazine and now we're here at the screening of your film. This yes. is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I love that you say that. How was it trying to mix the balance of being a producer and acting and pretty much everything else. <laughs> well, luckily I wasn't just the producer, like, there mm -hmm. was, you know, more than one of us. It was me yeah. and Neil. But I, I love putting the pieces together of the puzzle, and I love being able to collaborate and have something to do with the project, too. Were there any difficult points in bringing some of the character out? I think just internalizing what she was feeling, so it was kind of painful on the inside sometimes, since I believe in living the life of the character. You'll 
go somewhere if you have to. But it does take a while to come down from it. I mean, it does, it affects your soul because they're your experiences then. They aren't the experiences of somebody else. So you decide who the character is and you live it and, and that hurts sometimes. And this character, it hurt a lot. You did most of your stunts, right? I did all of my stunts. Oh, you did all your stunts? I did all of my stunts. Wow. I wanted yeah. you to go on the journey with them. If you're watching it and it's real, what can be, everything that could be real was real. I shot Mojave Desert, Toronto Pinnacles, Yuma, Arizona, Bribey Island, Australia, Brisbane, um, Australia, Melbourne, Australia, Salton Sea, mm -hmm. like all over, Malibu. I absolutely love my fans and I love Eclipse Magazine and I'm just so happy to have you guys be part of my life because you've been kind of part of my journey over the last mm -hmm. couple of years. So I just want to say thank you. Here, the director of this incredible film we just screened, Rogue Warrior. Something big opening a wormhole. Oh my god. It started, uh, it was a different film called Planet Crash, and we, uh, I, I guess it was a little more simple shall we say it's just basically two people crashing a planet trying to get on and one one was a robot and the other one was an advanced human and they didn't blend very well so it's one of those sort of enemy mind type films but as i developed the story and the characters you know this is about 20 drafts later we had rogue warriors so, and the inspiration for this film for me was was actually mad max the original mad max and road road warrior mm -hmm. and this is called rogue Ro warrior i don't know to me it's more like battle cycle Galactica, if anything um mm -hmm. at least in the theme of it you know i'm very i look i'm very happy with the film very proud of all the cast and the crew who worked their ass off in this movie i'm just i'm just a small cog in a big machine when we first started working on the film and yeah. i started working with neil i said you're not unlike peter Jackson. <laughs> because what I loved about Neil and Tracy is they just went out and made a movie. It's the heart of a filmmaker is just to get out there and do it. Eclipse Magazine viewers, keep on watching. We love you. And it's really great to talk to Laura. Awesome. Eclipse Magazine. See it. Watch it. Do it. Follow it. Google it. Twitter it.